where they take the picture. Yeah. Um, give it to Give it to John the egg. What up? Uh, yeah. Their horn is pretty. The face too. You yeah, see the face? I know. Pretty face, huh? What's for lion, okay? Oh. Big, that big antelope oh. that we saw. We... You think we will see giraffe here or no? Uh, Maybe. They're in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, in here. Oh. In here? Mm. Yeah. And yeah. The whole bunch right up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. says I don't want anything to do with these <laughs> tourists. <laughs> Crazy tourists. Crazy tourists. Crazy tourists. Hey! Okay. Come inside, dude. Try to try to Hey! 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 Hey, go Come back. On. Go back. We'll go that side. Too. Yeah, go that side. Go that way. Come on, G. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's all oh. the baby. Now you need to be careful. <laughs> sunset, sunset in Africa. Oh, wow. Hello. Hi. How are you? Oh, yeah. All right. Big guy, big guy, Ooh, rhino. Can you? Yeah. Okay, rhino. Okay. Oh, very nice. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Last shot, last shot of the day. Okay. Last shot of the day. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay. Right, Seth? No, big bird, big bird in front of you. I think that's a stork. Yeah, yeah, stork. When we get up, when we get up here. The stork can, yeah, yeah. That stork is from stork. grain. Oh, from grain. Oh, right. Grain. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 oh
Ủa, nó bay vô đẹp chưa? Ừ, đẹp quá chưa? Ôi ơi, đẹp. Ồ, wow, wow. Oh, nice. Nice. Those are herons. Oh, nice, hả? Huh? Oh. With me. Thank you. Thank you. You honor me. Thank you. Today's talk looks at how Nelson Mandela has uh, been doing, or how I should say South Africa has been doing since Nelson Mandela left the presidency in 1999. I, ta I call this talk uh, Saving the Nation because I feel like despite the exhilaration the world felt, when white rule ended, much of what Mandela wanted for his country is still a dream. And what we see now is a nation whose gains are fragile as political corruption, violent crime, disease, and racial and economic inequality plague this nation. These problems and many others have eroded the promise of truly transforming South Africa. This is a pivotal time for South Africa. Can it protect what Mandela and others fought so hard to achieve? Can it save itself? When Nelson Mandela became the leader of a free South Africa, the world welcomed him with open arms. He was seen as a kind of a messiah, a person who would put an end to all the troubles that had plagued South Africa for centuries. And his achievements are extraordinary when you think about how he was able to end the oppression of people of color that had been a way of life since colonial times. He turned South Africa into a democracy, which allowed blacks the right to vote and the right to serve at the highest levels of power. He said the country should become a rainbow nation. And he brought in one of the world's most progressive constitutions with the strongest protection of individual and minority rights anywhere in the world. This is the only constitution to explicitly prohibit discrimination against lesbian and gay men. This was written in a country that is notoriously anti-gay. So it's quite an achievement. As president, Mandela sought reconciliation instead of revenge for those that had suffered under apartheid. And his overriding message of peace, justice, and freedom inspired people all over the world. So it seems like sacrilege to critique Mandela. After all, he's the hero of the nation. But many in the generation that was born after Mandela's election to the presidency, this is a generation that is called born free they feel a lot is wrong with the country that they were born into. This born free generation, they're impatient for the promises of Mandela and his successors, promises they feel have still not been carried out. Well, I wanna take a critical look at what Mandela and those leaders who followed him did and did not do what's gotten this country to where I think it sits on the edge of a precipice. And for uh, yeah. Namibia, um, but it was originally a hymn uh, written by a, composed by a uh, man called Enoch Santonga in 1897. And he worked at a Methodist mission just outside of South Africa. Um, but no need to stand up, I'm not playing you the anthem of any country, I'm playing you the original hymn to Africa. This is Nkosi Sikelele i Africa. Nkosi Sikelele i Africa, Sitela Omutsula Mutsando, 